I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, it's Kay from Litter Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. Now this was a patron pick of mine for, I believe it was April? Um, maybe March? I can't remember now. March or April, Kate Coy picked this out for me and she actually sent me the hardcover book which is absolutely beautiful. I love that cover. Um, when I read this book, in my mind I came away with this kind of phrase, this melding of other books that I've read. It To me it was like you, if you took the magic and kind of the humor, the sense of humor from Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norwell and combined that with the scientific studies of a natural history of dragons and and you combine those two with Emily Marshwick from Guns of the Dawn you kind of get the encyclopedia of fairies um, I really really enjoyed this book I gave it four out of five stars and I'll talk about why of course in just a minute but first a spoiler free summary of what this book is all about uh, curmudgeonly I love that word that's such a fantastic word. Okay. A curmudgeonly professor journeys to a small town in the far north to study fairy folklore and discovers dark fae magic, friendship, and love. Emily Wilde is good at many things. She is the foremost expert on the study of fairies. She is a genius scholar and a meticulous researcher, and she is writing the world's first encyclopedia of fairy lore. But Emily Wilde is not good at people. When her academic rival surprises her and joins the trip, mis mysteries are solved, truths are revealed, friendships are made, and maybe even love. So like I said, I gave this one four out of five stars. What worked for me is the characters. Absolutely the characters 100%. This is a character driven book. So if you love character driven books and you love quirky, unusual characters, um, obviously fairy lore, you will absolutely love this book. The characters are endearing and Emily Wilde is to me like, I think just as I would probably be if I was in this fantasy fictional world, she's the type of character that I would be. Um, very awkward around people, not a good people person, um, introverted, just wants to be alone with her books and her dog. Uh, I don't have a dog, but I definitely can relate to that being alone with the books part. Um, and she speaks and writes just as I imagine that I would in these situations. For example, um, so this book is kind of written as her journal as she's doing this study and on this trip. So we have at the end, start of each chapter, we kind of have dates of the date that it takes place. Um, during one chapter, she says, she writes, I haven't any idea what the date is. And so I have decided to guess. And that just is, it made me chuckle. And I'm like, yes, exactly. If you don't know what the date is, just make it up. Um, also for me, the other part that worked really well in this is the fascinating research that she does on these fairies. It's just like, it's just like what we had in a natural history of dragons with the study of dragons. But in this book, it's a study of fairies. And I love that idea of taking something obviously fictional and fantastical and putting it into a scientific world. It just, I love it. I, I want more of it. I can't get enough of it. Now, what didn't work for me, what made it four stars and not five stars was honestly just the pacing. At times it felt really slow, like especially at the beginning. Um, there were times where it picked up a bit, so it wasn't slow for the entire book, but it just felt like this is a book that you need to take very slowly and you can't just rush through because the pacing di dictates the story and I mean, Maybe if I tried to rush through it, you know, I could, but it felt like it just forced you to slow down and look at the details of the story, which, um, 
now that I'm talking about it, I kind of love that the story forced you to read it the way it's supposed to be read. I feel like if I tried to rush through this, I would miss so much and I wouldn't get the story as a whole. So maybe it's a more of an advantage than a detriment, but there were times where it could have gone faster and still had that same effect. So four out of five stars to Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. If you've read this book before, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love y'all to the moon and back. Bye.